So here I'm going to demonstrate the render ready um, on how to create buildings. So you can see that we have four buttons here, commercial, industrial, museum, and residential. Um, so under commercial, you'll see that there's an office, uh, simple, very simple. If you select the image, it will show you all the modules associated with that uh, building. So if you go into industrial, there's no image and there's no modules. So that has not been, I have not created a module set for that, but you can see under museum, there's quite a few module sets. And residential, there's actually two module sets. One which is a New York style apartment and one that is like a San Francisco style apartment. Um, more modules get will get added later, but for now, it's these are just test modules to see right now. So let's just build this building real quick. So once you select the image, then you hit the build office A, and you will see that it creates this box basically of the building which is defined by this this by the width length and height so let's say you want this to look more like this so you can go into the edit tab select a module and you can extend this to the left or right and up so if you select the top one, it's going to duplicate that one. So what you want to do is select the middle one and extend this like that. <clears throat> so now you have more of an office building, a taller building. You can make it wider this way and taller and shorter. Um, so that's pretty simple. Um, also, you can see on the right side there's no modules being shown, so you can actually hit this and it'll show you the modules associated with this building. You can also open up that in a separate window if you want that as a separate window. It's you'll see in some of the other buildings that if you have more modules you'll want it might be easier to view it in this in a separate window so that is the office building so let's move that out of the way and select uh, a residential so you can see you can't build anything because you don't have a building selected. So let's build this. And it's saying force create at selected or exit because you have something selected. So we will exit that for now. And we will deselect everything. And let's build this one. Now you'll see that you have this uh, yet another square. Um, so we can go and extend this out and now you can yeah it's just like one module type. So up here you have different types of selections. You can select columns or rows or you can select in between two, two modules. So if you wanted to select in between there you can select that um, you can also select by the north south east and west walls um, don't know yeah so let's say we want to add this module column in here so let's select a couple columns and then all you do is click here and what it'll do is it'll import those modules and replace them. So let's say on this wall, 
we want to replace it with a flat brick wall. So, yeah. And we can, can also do this. Or let's say we want some windows on this side. So it's not a blank wall. So we can also increase the height of this or shorten it. Um, you can also do an extrude out or in. So we can like extrude these out. Um, or you can select these, Let's select all those, and do an extrude in. So you get more of, you can get a more custom shape out of it. Um, so let's just move this guy off to the side. And you'll notice that there's some modules in here. These are the master modules that once you import, then they stay around. So when you do replace modules, it's faster. You can actually just select these and delete them. Um, so let's see a more complex module set, uh, which is this museum. So we'll build it. And once again, that's a box. And we will go into the edit extend this guy out so this one you might want to open up in a separate window so you can see all the modules um, so let's select oops, and this window let's get that put down there all right so let's try this again. Select this column and we'll place it with this one. So you'll see that it's kind of uh, already like an extrusion module. So I've made this part as more of the extrusion module. So let's replace that. And then this is basically a mirrored version of this module set. So now you have a much more complex building where you can still do the shorten and height. I have also created a set, another module set, which is a little different from the the A. So B is a little different, has arches opposed to triangles on the windows. So let's extrude this, place these guys. So you can create quite unique buildings with each module set. Um, so if we wanted to Do this so we have another another wall with really tall columns. Um, you can do that. You can also let's extend this out quite a bit and place these guys. So now you have a building that has a lot more depth to it, a lot. And yeah, so that's basically how you build buildings in the render ready. So show you the last module set, which is the San Francisco style apartment. So 
we can select. We'll just alternate these. Place it like that. And there you get the idea of how the render ready works. So currently right now there's only four module sets. Um, I think this one's a little bit out of scale with the other ones, but once again, these are all temporary module sets. Um, they're unfinished and at some point they'll get finished. Um, so that's it.